OK, so let's say we've got a particle projected from the point 2j metres relative to a fixed origin O. The particle's initial velocity is 2i plus 9j metres per second, and it moves freely under gravity. First of all, find the position of the particle 0.2 seconds after it is projected. So we're using here 2d suvat, OK? So we're going to write down s, u, v, a, and t, OK? So remember, s, u, v, and a are all vectors. t is not. So s, well, we want to find the position, so we don't know that. The initial velocity is 2i plus 9j. The final velocity, we don't know that. The acceleration, well, it just tells me that it moves freely under gravity. So that means that the acceleration will be minus 9.8j. So we have gravity working downwards. OK. T, uh, well, that's 0.2. OK, so we want to find S in part A, where we want the formula without V. So that would be, getting my formulas right, uh, UT plus 1 half AT squared. OK, so U times T. So 2i plus 9j times 0.2. So that would be 0.4i uh, plus 1.8j plus 1 half times a times t squared. OK, so I'm going to want my calculator here. So we have 0.5 times by a, so minus 9.8 times by t squared, so 0.2 squared. And that gets me minus 0.196j. So we've got 0.4a, uh, 0.4i, sorry, plus uh, 1.604j. So that is... Um, the vector that will get me from the starting position to um, where it is after 0.2 seconds. Okay. However, although that's told me how to get from its starting position to uh, where it should be after 0.2 seconds, we want to find the position of the particle. Okay, and it is star has started 2j meters up. OK, so actually the position will be 0.4i plus 1.604j plus 2j. So that would be 3.604j. So that's the position. OK, so what about the velocity? Well, the velocity, v, equals u plus a t. So we've got the initial velocity, 2i plus 9j, plus minus 9.8j uh, times t. So minus 9.8 times 0 0.2 is minus 1.96. So it's minus 1.96j. So we'll have 2i, and then we've got 9 take away 1.96, so 7.04j. OK, so this will be metres. This will be metres per second, OK, to put in the units.